Hi, I'm Chris Capel from Busy Pig. Today I'm gonna to show you my favorite way to cook a whole chicken. And that's a spatchcock chicken with tsunami spin cooked direct on the grill. It's my favorite way to cook chicken. I like the flavor that you get from cooking a spatchcock or butterfly like chicken direct over the fire. Real simple to prepare. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna trim off a little bit of this extra fat and skin that's hanging off. A little bit of fat on the fire is good, but not all that. So we got the breast side here. This is where most of the meat on the chicken is, is in the breast. On the back side is the backbone. So basically what we want to do is remove this bone. I'll do it with a pair of kitchen shears. Just go right along the backbone. The trickiest spot is right here along the thigh. If you wiggle your shears, you can get around that. And just cut all the way down right through the ribs. And then just repeat that on the other side. This makes a great stock, so we're gonna, we're gonna save that for, for stock. You can see the whole bird is open now. It needs to be flattened out a little bit because it's gonna sit flat on the grill. So I'll basically just put my hand on it, and flatten it out right there. Okay, so now we're gonna season this chicken up. Use our tsunami spin, which is my absolute favorite on poultry. We won a lot of awards with this seasoning. Put it on liberally. Once again, you're gonna be browning it. And it's really, it's a big bird. It's a, almost a six pound bird. So you need plenty of seasoning. Don't be shy. And if it gets on a little heavy, it's not gonna hurt anything. Now I wanna let this sit for about five minutes. So that rub kind of melts in and then we're gonna flip it over and do the other side. And that rub is set in real nice. So we're gonna flip this over and do the top side. Now I don't go quite as heavy on the skin. I just want a nice even coating all around the skin. Give it a nice color and a nice crust when it's cooked. And the more even you put it on, the better you, your bird's going to look. And everybody likes to serve a nice looking bird. And this chicken is going to be ready for the grill. Let's go fire it up. Got the grill preheated to 350 over a direct fire. We're ready to get this thing on. I'm going to put the breast meat towards the outside of the cooker and the dark meat towards the center. Just because it's hotter in the middle and dark meat takes longer to cook. Tuck the wings in tight, beautiful. I'm gonna spin this grate 180 degrees just to make sure they're cooking evenly because the fire is not always even all the way across. Looks like they're cooking nice. Look at these chickens have been on for almost an hour now. Yeah, you can see the, all the seasoning is all set up on top. It's all kind of hardened into this beautiful crust, which is a great time to flip them over. I'm just gonna grab them and spin them and flip them. I'm gonna check the temperature here on the breast. We're about 158.7, 160, which is absolutely perfect for that breast. So these guys are ready to come off. Really nice color on this guy. First thing I usually do is take the legs off. Everybody's gonna want a leg or a thigh. This is the fun part. I like to remove the breast all in one piece. That way you can get skin and meat at the same time. You can see how moist that is right there. Listen. Here's the tsunami spin spatchcock grilled chicken. 